Good afternoon. May the 4th be with you. Happy Saturday, everybody. Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball 8-Box. Pick your team number Jordan, 23. Thanks, everyone, here for getting into it. Really appreciate it. Shane with that last spot mojo, Mets. All right, and there's the case right there. There's a Series 1 poster here. Let's set that aside. All right, good luck, boys and girls. Here we go. Here are all eight boxes right here. Two, four, six, and eight. All right. Good luck, everybody. So there's two autographs per mini box, four autographs total. So that's a whopping, uh, that's a lot. It's four times, 32 autographs in this entire break, which is awesome. Good luck, everybody. See what's going on. What's going on in baseball today? Final scores: the uh, Twins beat the Yankees seven to three. Cubs came back to beat the Cardinals six to five. Indians edged out the Mariners five to four. And Kansas City wasted Detroit fifteen to three. Looks like Kevin Pillar robbed a robbed a home run from Nick Senzel. He's up now, folks. So dust off your Nick Senzel autographs. He's a big, highly touted prospect for the Reds. All right, here we go. There's Manny Machado. And the autograph is different Reds prospect Jeter Downs. Who's a Dodgers prospect now? It's in the Dodgers organization. In that trade that sent Puig and Kemp and Alex Wood over to the Reds, and Matt Kemp got released this morning, I think. So I wonder where where he'll end up. He should go to he should go to a uh, AL team, I think. Uh, there's Jordan Adams for the Angels. Nice one for Anthony. Because I feel like he can still hit. It's just he's not just very he's not very effective in the field. So you can't really keep him in the game. Liability. Right, and Kyle Farmer went there too. You're right, TJ. All right. There's Austin Meadows to 150, 250. He's been hitting really well with the Rays. And nice Casey Mize. That is strong. That is for the Tigers. Chad B. 
Another highly touted prospect right here. Number one overall pick, I think was just was recently promoted to double A or triple A or something like that. And his first start after his promotion, no hitter. Like a 90 pitch no hitter or something like that. Something he's supposed to be the real deal. Real deal Holyfield. And we've got Riley Adams for the Blue Jays. That'll be for Chris Garosi. Lagro Jr. apparently had his first uh, first Major League RBI today. First of many, I'm assuming. That Casey Mize is really strong. All right, so great box one. Set that aside here. Let's get box two going. Other games in progress. Well, what's what's closest to finishing? The middle of the eighth. Braves are up 9-2 on Miami. In the top of the eighth, the Orioles leading the uh, leading the Rays 3-0. Oakland, the A's are in Pittsburgh in early play. In the bottom of the sixth, Oakland's leading by a run, 4-3. I, I kind of don't like that they're just randomly doing interleague play now. It used to be back in I don't know when they first did it. It used to be special, right? Like there was like a whole oh it's gonna be interleague weekend. Everybody tune in. And now they're just randomly everywhere. I guess we're I guess we're coming to a point where well, that'll be just more common and the leagues will start to to melt together. The DH will probably end up in the NL. Oh, actually, according to the MLB headline, folks, Nick Senzel actually did get a home run today. He got robbed, and his next at-bat, he, he hit one out. So dust off your Nick Senzel cards. Your autos. Another big, highly tighter prospect now with the Reds. It's a good one. All right, next box. Another four autos. Good luck. Hoskins and Grayson Rodriguez for the Orioles. That goes to Joe Babcock. There you go, Joe. There go your hits, folks. Enjoy. All right, that's for the Orioles. That's for Joe. And nice Shane McClanahan, gold, six, let's check that, nine, dyslexic, nine out of 50 for the Tampa Bay Rays. And that is Scott, Scott V with the Rays. Nice. So the other side, another mini box. Got an Atomic Goldschmidt. That'll ship, of course. Dust off your Verdue. Now that AJ Pollock has surgery now on that surgically repaired elbow after he broke it a little while ago, you can expect Verdugo to make a lot more starts for the boys in blue. Noah Naylor is going to go to the Indians. That's for Arthur Peru and the Tribe. There you go, AP. You're welcome, Joe. Mm -hmm. 
There's Andrew McCutcheon to 150. And there's Kyber Ruiz. Nice Kyber Ruiz for the Dodgers. Shane, one of their big catching prospects, him and Will Smith. No, not the actor. Catcher, catching prospect. Nice. All right, next box. Some other scores. Nationals and Phillies are tied at three at the end of the fifth. Oh, Astros with a 10-1 lead in the top of the sixth on the Angels. Ouch. Reds up 8-2 on the Giants, top of the seventh. And Red Sox just pounding on the White Sox, 14-1 in the top of the fifth. Still a lot of game left in that team. Top of the seventh, Brewers, slim 2-1 lead over the Mets in Milwaukee. Bottom of the third, early, still early in the game. Rangers ahead, 5-2 on the Blue Jays. Diamondbacks shutting out the Colorado Rockies right now in the top of the fourth, 7-0. And in the top of the second, Padres up 1-0 on the Dodgers. Still pretty early there. I did. I did. I can always tell. Yeah. Yeah. Gotta keep it clean. Yeah. All right. A Cahill gave up three home. I think I was on the Angels today, too. I don't know if I. It's another day of my picks not, not going well. I had the Cardinals. They didn't win. I'm going to make that red. I had the Mariners. I don't think they're going to... I think they lost, too. They lost by a run. I had the Marlins. They're not going to win. Nationals still have a shot at the Nationals. Pirates still have a shot at the Pirates. Brew Crew, they're leading. Okay, I still have a chance there. Angels, I don't have a chance there. I was on the Angels. I was on the White Sox. That's not going to happen either unless they come back and score 15 runs in like three innings. And I'm on the Dodgers tonight. They're already down the run. Not, not going well. Not going well, but I'll keep firing. All right. Ray in the house up, Adam. And thanks, Aaron, for dropping that break order. Yeah, uh, so after this will be uh, Contenders Football. There's Josh Stowers, and then you can see the rest as well. Josh Stowers goes to the Mariners. That's going to go to Joseph L. Rand Wirt. Chris Davis to 250. And we've got Ethan Hankins for the Indians. That's another one for Arthur and the Indians. I know, yeah, no kidding. At least I'm one and one with DoorDash today. It's Eloy Jimenez, Atomic. And we got Matthew Libertor for Scott and the Rays. That Rays farm system is loaded. This guy's supposed to be good too. There's Giancarlo Stanton to 99. Now, nice Alec Baum for the Phillies. Shane with the fight in Phils. Huh? 
That's a strong hit too. All right, next box. We're cruising along, almost halfway through this break. Joey Knuckles saying, is that Michael Chavez? Has six homers in 13 MLB games. Yeah, that's hashtag good for the hobby. I always like hearing that. It's always good when when uh, young players' prospects do well. And basically any, anything that's good for the hobby. That's what I like to see. fantasy team doing today oh, I'm plus five and a half points on the day that's good who's doing the damage here Ooh, Jake Bowers went two for three. Oh, he got a stolen base I'm weak on stolen bases I need those Jonathan Scope two for three that's good with an RBI Manny Machado one for one with a home run oh that's the that's the lone run right now in the Padres game Kettle Marte 0 for 2, but still, still a lot of games to be played. He has a walk, though. Mookie Betts went 1 for 4 with a double, 2 RBI double, looks like. And a run scored. Nice. Eddie Rosario, 1 for 5. Eddie Rosario was hot for, like, just white hot. Blazing hot. And then, like, the last two weeks, he's been... Or last week, he's been just ice cold. Check the rest of my team in the next box. There's Jordan Alvarez for the Strohs. That's going to go to Carter Wagner. There you go, Carter. We'll save one of those rookie Otanis. And Christian Pash for the Braves. There you go, Zach. Nice up and coming prospect for the Braves too. Braves farm system also stacked. Nice. All right, there's a roll. This Chapman to 250. There's Jonathan India to 150. And there's Luis Urias. Nice. Nick Jaspi saying Jordan Alvarez stuff is hot. Hot, hot, hot. Is he the hottest hitter on the planet? Is he? There's Luis Urias for the Friars. That's going to go to Chris Garosi. Another Otani. And a Brandon Marsh. Three out of 99. Otani's teammate. That goes to Anthony with the Angels. And next box. Watching playoff basketball as well. Golden State is in Houston. Rockets are up by three, 30 to 27. Nine and a half minutes left in the first half. All 
Alright, so what else is going on my fantasy team here? So Rosario, hopefully he starts to heat up again. He got one for five RBI. Schwarber, Kyle Schwarber is over three. Walk. Shintu Chu over two. That's still early. It's just the bottom of the uh, third. Luri Garcia, one for two. I need him to steal more bases for me. I had uh, I had Carlos Carrasco. He gave up four solo home runs. Also had nine strikeouts. And I think who else is making this? I think Joey Lucchese is making a start for me today. Looks like he already gave up an earned run, so a Dodgers game is tied. Wow, Jordan Alvarez hitting 402. Uh, Darren saying he's hitting 400, over 400, 12 home runs and 40 RBIs in like 25 games. Jeez. Don't, don't the Astros have enough? boxes or next couple mini boxes good luck well then you got a good one Carter Wagner with Jordan Alvarez seems to be raking I think I even find place for what what position does he play there's Glaber Torres 99 where are they gonna put him and there's another Casey Mize nice 92 out of 99. It's another one for Chad. This time with a little color. Very nice. And for the Rockies, Ryan Rollison. Oh, he's a left fielder. Oh, they they might actually have space for him out there. 6'5", 225, 21. Switch hitter. Right, Nick speculated. Nick Jaspi is speculating that Tony Kemp will probably be sent down, or maybe a Ledmes Diaz. They've got, they've got an embarrassment of riches in that farm system. There's Freddie Freeman and a nice Luis Robert. And Nick Jaspi's source is the Astros. SB Nation page. Luis Robert is a good one too. David Duffy with the White Sox. Yeah, the White Sox aren't too far away from having a big chunk of their young guys come up the ranks and maybe make some noise. And they were they were chasing their some some big free agents too in the off season, like Machado and whatnot, so. Whoa! Wow! Best Performer Super Fractor, one of one Austin Meadows. Wow, that's still Pirates Edition. So that goes to Shane with the Pirates. So we got Luis Robert, who Darren's saying is the second hottest hitter on the planet. And there's Austin Meadows, one of one, who's been a hot hitter for the Rays. This will go to the Pirates, though. So Shane and the Pirates all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! What a hit. 
Nice. Uh oh, really? John Samuelson, corrections and retractions. Apparently, this is Luis Robert. He just said it's pronounced Robert, not Robert. There you go. Would you rather have Austin Meadows or Chris Archer? I don't mind Chris Archer, but. I don't know, maybe the that was the that was, I think it was the Chris Archer dealer. Right? I think I think I would have stayed with Austin Meadows. I guess hindsight's twenty twenty, but still. John Sampson, I, I need to I, I need to get I need to get a media guide from every. I gotta figure this how, how to do that. Get a media guide from every baseball team, so we can pronounce all those names correctly. All right, three boxes to go. So far, so good. Another great Bowman's best break. We, we did a case last night, which was really fantastic. This case right here seems to be great, too. And they also got glass now? Oh, Dee Porter is saying it's, it is pronounced Robert, and that Robert is Robert pronunciation is fake news. I don't, I don't know who to believe now. I need a media guide. White Sox officials, if you're watching, please send us a, uh, a team media guide with all the player pronunciations, please. Or how they want it to be pronounced, I guess. Oh, look at this. John Sanders said it's not fake news. White Sox announcers call him Robert like it's a first name. Are you sure they're not just anglicizing it? No, announcers are pretty good about doing it the right way. Well, the mystery continues. This break continues. What a break. And a redemption coming up. And he guesses on the redemption. Cards, all these cards are upside down. And, uh oh, Luis. That goes to David Duffy. Another one. Another Luis. Robert or Robert? And that's 91 out of 150. Well, we should just ask him. Luis, if you're watching the show, let us know. Make it official. Darren Porter suggesting that it's the, it's the, uh, it's the White Sox announcers that are just clueless. They also call Yoan Mankata Joan, apparently. There's Max Scherzer to 10. Nice. Nationals. Chris Garossi. There's Walker Bueller to 250. And there's an Alec Thomas or Tomas for Arthur Peru and his Diamondbacks. Or I don't know if they're his Diamondbacks anymore. But... The Diamondbacks. Well, that, that's why I always went with Robert when he, yeah. But I don't know. Darren, Darren's like, Louis, Luis is Cuban. Do you think, he, do you think it's really Robert? I think, I, I think from Bowman Baseball, I said Robert. But I don't know. Sometimes the, the players actually are the ones that decide. How do you want your names? to be on TV. So that's why it's possible that if he said that he wants it to be Robert for whatever reason, then it could be could be Robert, however he wants it to be said. And there is Kyber Ruiz or Ruse. Or 
or Kiebert. And behind Roycey Luis. He's going to go upside down. Sorry, Royce. You are due to receive a best of 2018 autograph of M. Mass. Masson. Masson Deneberg. Nice. Masson. I don't even, I have no idea where he goes. Masson, where where do you go? Masson Deneberg is a national, looks like. There you go. Nats with that one. Chris Carosi. You're welcome, Shane. Shane just saw that super fractor. You're welcome, Shane. He's like, I felt it. I knew snagging them again would pay off. Yeah, I feel like that usually happens, right? How many times, especially in pick your team breaks, how many times are you like, oh, of course that hits in the next case? You know, we, we hear people say that all the time. Of course that hits in the next case. So I think a lot of times, maybe snagging a team a couple times definitely helps out. You know, could result in situations like that for Shane, that super fractor. Congrats, man. That was a nice hit. I'll allow that link. But <laughs> but I'm with Darren. Maybe maybe if they're pronounce if they have a track record of pronouncing all those names wrong. Unless they have a that's why I said I need a media guide. If I have the White Sox media guide, then I'll know. Maybe Yohan Moncada wants to be called Jones. We'll have to ask Luis himself. Or Lewis. <laughs> Is it Lewis Robert? All right, two boxes to go. Eight autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Good luck. Apparently, um, that uh, Mason Denenberg is a... Looks like a top five organizational prospect, pitching prospect for the Nats. So there you go. What's he doing now? What are his stats? I see no record of him doing anything in his career. Is he injured? Uh, MLB, MILB.com does not have any info. I should, I should have my Baseball America prospect guide with me. It's at home. All right. And another Alec Baum. Nice. Or Boom. Uh, I'm, all, I'm all twisted now. So that goes to the fight and fills. Shane with the Phillies. I think that's your second one, Shane. There's Jordan Groshans or Groshans or I don't even know what to say for names anymore. My world is turned upside down. There's Andres Jimenez, whose autograph has improved greatly since his Bowman autograph. Remember that? That's uh, Shane, last spot mojo Mets. Man, Shane hitting left and right. Or Andres Gimenez. Atomic Awesome Mills. This one's Rays Edition. And Carter Keyboom. Nice. Keyboom. 
for Chris Garossi and the Nats. That's a good time to get this guy, too. He just got called up recently. I feel like he's 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 doing all right. It's been a great case. And Trevor Larnock for the Twins. That is one for Matthew Bodner. There you go, Kevin Crouch. Yeah, apparently Albius hit a grand slam tonight. So thanks again for that. No worries. Yeah, he's he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Also, we said hi to Sally earlier, Kevin. We were all hanging out. All right. Next one. Last box. Last four autographs here in Figure Team 23. Do I have enough top loaders here? One, two, three, four, five. That should be plenty. Get me to the end of the break. Good luck. You heard, says Kevin. Yeah. I was like, Team Crouch hanging out. I love it. All right. Last four autographs. I don't know if Nick Jaspi's still listening. Nick Jaspi, why are we not breaking at this music festival that's right behind us? That was a missed opportunity. We should have bought a booth. I don't know if they have booths here. I'm assuming they do. All right. There's Otani. And there's, a re there's a redemption on the bottom here, too. There's Colton Welker. Joe Crawl, I would love to do luminaries. Is it frozen? No. It, ha it hasn't moved a an inch? I feel like people are scared. So I, I, I'd tell everybody, hey, scared money don't make money, but apparently people are scared. All right, we'll, 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 let, the, we'll let the hits marinate. We'll, we'll just let them marinate, just like a good, uh, I don't know, just, just like a good roast or something. Marinate in a pressure cooker. Nice Helio Ramos. Four out of 25 Atomic. Bill with the Giants. That's one of their big prospects, Bill. Nice. And Connor Scott for the Miami Marlins. That goes to Scott and the Marlins. Alec Thomas to 250 for Arthur and the Diamondbacks. And the last autograph behind Mike Trout. And in front of Jose Ramirez is, good luck everybody, someone is due to receive a best of 2018 autograph of A, Anthony, Anthony Ziegler, Anthony Ziegler is a Yankee, that goes to Mark Matheson, so Mark with, I'm pretty sure he's a Yankee, I'm just a, 
just double check. Yes, he is a Yankee. Catching prospect for the Yankees. That goes to Mark. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. No randomizer to do, no nothing. A nice, clean break. That was Pick Your Team 23 of 2018 Bowman's Best Baseball. It's our last case of Bowman's Best for the time being. But keep your eye out on the website, jazbeescasebreaks.com, for more in the store. Let's do that, Luminaries. We'll see you next time, folks, jazbeescasebreaks.com.